Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today we are talking all about busy bags. If you're not familiar with what a busy bag is, essentially it's a little bag filled with amazing goodies that you can take on the go with you to keep your little ones occupied. Busy bags are just absolute saviors and the most genius idea. A few places that I like to use them at is at restaurants while we're waiting on the food, even at appointments while we're waiting to be seen. I like to use them on car rides, especially for public transit. I have used them while grocery shopping, shopping at the mall, running countless types of errands, and even going to church, but my most favorite use of all for it is definitely plane rides. Busy bags have just come in super handy in my own life that I want to make sure that I shared it with you. And I had a previous video just like this that I made years and years ago, and I just wanted to come back and make sure that I updated it for you. It had such a good feedback. I want to make sure that I reshared everything again to help you other moms and dads out there because I know how stressful it can be trying to run around with little ones. When I was first putting a busy bag together, I literally had no idea where to even begin. So I am here to kind of help guide you guys through that. You know your kids more than anybody. You know their processing skills. You know what's going to keep them entertained. You know what toys are safe for them to play with. So you're already off to a great start. And that's what I absolutely love about these busy bags. They're fully customizable to your children's needs. If you want to keep these busy bags affordable, you can definitely check out the Dollar Tree. They have great, great items you guys can stock up on, especially if you have multiple children. Bullseye's Playground at Target. They have amazing items as well, especially right before school starts. That that's when they stock up on so many educational items. However, if you guys are interested, I will still try to find things on Amazon that are very similar in case you're not near these other stores. I'll have that linked in my description box below as well as my store so you guys can specifically get these objects online if you need to. So starting off with a younger age group, I began my son's busy bag when he was about nine months old and then he used these items up until he was about a year and a half. You want to make sure that you're going to get super age appropriate items and very safe items because at nine months old kids like to taste test every single thing go straight into the mouth so you want to make sure everything is super slobber safe and gnaw safe and just non-choking hazards age does not necessarily dictate what's safe so you want to make sure that you get what's safe for your child and their own processing and cognitive skills. Most kids at this age range basically have an attention span that is non-existent. Children are sensory learners, so anything that's visually appealing or have a weird peculiar texture will definitely catch their attention. So his busy bag was definitely way more challenging to put together for me than his older sisters. And I had to make sure I was getting things that were not going to be too noisy and that were destruction safe. So first up is this book. It's about animal sounds, so you can kind of go through through and show your kids the different types of animals and what I love about it most is that the noise it makes at nine months old he just absolutely loved squeezing this thing I feel like that was the most entertaining thing about this it's just a very quick book to read through and just point out the animals next is another little mini book this one is from the Dollar Tree this one is a twinkle twinkle little star a classic little rhyme next is an ABC book it's never too early to start going through ABCs with children and the fact that it's got a Mickey Mouse character just definitely caught his attention. Very, very colorful. And notice that I got a cloth book and two board books. These are not safe. Definitely much safer than getting a traditional paperback book. And you can easily clean these off if they fall to the ground. So I love these. Next is a magnetic drawing board. I really love that this is mess free and a little bit safer than using crayons or pencils that are going to be sharp. The magnetic pencils, which I don't have right now, or magnetic pen, has a much duller end with like a little small magnet. So you want to make sure that you're constantly keeping an eye. My younger one would always see my older daughter drawing, so he wanted to mimic her. So this was the best thing I could get for him so that he wouldn't be drawing all over the place with crayons or trying to eat the crayons at nine months old. So I just thought this was the perfect thing. Next up is this little felt playset. I love that it's very compact, yet it's filled with so much learning tools. So the monkeys are all in different colors and not only that, but they have the color on it as well as the numbers. But not only that, these monkeys are also little finger puppets. So at that age, they love character play. They love seeing their parents act out different scenarios with little toys. 
and again these are slobber and not safe for little children so i thought this was such a cool idea and this one was from the target bullseyes playground so a very decent price for such a great learning tool next up is just a little toy truck at that age they just love moving things back and forth this motion right here will basically keep them stimulated for quite a long time. Not sure why, I'll take that. It's a very easy one. Next, I've got these ducks. Ducks are definitely not just for bath time. They are perfect to take anywhere on the go. Number one, because if they drop to the floor, you can wipe them down very, very easily. And again, they're very gnaw and chew and slobber safe. They're also great learning tools for colors. Next up is going to be some type of squishy foam toy. Think of something similar to a stress ball as far as squeezability. However, get something with like a thicker outer material just so that it's a little bit safer. My son really, really loved squeezing, testing out his strength with grip, and I think it really helps with fine motor skills. Next is going to be a poppet. My son has a larger one that he likes to play with. I would definitely suggest getting a large one. This one is actually a keychain. I would not suggest getting one with a keychain. I can't find the one that he actually plays with he still plays with it to this day he will spend such a long time popping these in and out and i just think that these are the ultimate busy toys so next i was going to show these foam 3d shapes that he had we had lost them at this point i will try to find something similar and i will try to link them in my description box below as well I'll have a little pop-up of what i'm talking about right here he actually ended up picking them out himself and they came in different colors. They were absolutely perfect learning tool. And that brings me to my next item. These are different sea animals in different colors. They're in that thick foam material. They're perfect for learning tools as well as for regular play. And this is actually part of a foam board puzzle. So if you're in a car ride, you can definitely bring this larger one along. It's very large, makes it easy for them to put in or at least try to put in here and figure out. This toy can basically grow with them and I only got this for 100 yen which equates to a dollar at Daiso. Can you believe that? Last but not least is going to be the snack box which we actually use up until to this day. There is just something about children being able to open a box and seeing all different types of snacks and them just having full independence of being able to pick whatever they want out of it. And at nine months, they're definitely very capable of accidentally knocking this down and spilling all of the snacks out of it and you'll have a very upset little one so you want to make sure you're constantly keeping an eye. At that age my son really loved the teething crackers as well as the little puff snack. So for my younger son I prefer to keep his in a large pouch just like this one and everything fits nice and perfectly in there. I prefer this pouch method compared to anything else just because it's much more compact compared to a backpack and with him being such a young age I still have to carry around a diaper bag anyway. So I need something I can easily stick into the diaper bag along with everything else. I don't want to carry a separate backpack just for this busy bag. Now moving on to the age range of a year and a half and right under three years old. So just wanted to preface this bag by saying that I did add some toys that could pose a choking hazard for my younger son. So if you're in a similar situation as I am, you want to make sure again that you keep a very good eye on them. One tip that I do want to recommend is that keeping them separate because at one and a half, they don't really know to not give or not share their toy with their younger sibling. They kind of want to give everything to them. So what I would do is have my daughter on one side of me and then my son on the other side of me in his stroller, especially if we're in a waiting room or maybe if we're in a car driving, I want to make sure I'm the thing that's separating them so I can kind of catch if she tries to give something to him or she's kind of further away where she can't really do that. So um, anything like that where I cannot keep an eye on them directly, like let's say they're both sitting in their stroller. Um, I had a double stroller back then. If she tries to pass something off in the front to him, I will not give her toys that can pose as a choking hazard to him. First up is a stuffy. At this age, kids absolutely love something to snuggle up with. It's perfect for car rides, again, plane rides, or if they want to take a little nap in their stroller while you're on the go. This is perfect and this one I actually got from Dollar Tree and I absolutely love getting stuffed animals from there just because they're very easy to replace and you can buy multiple at a time in case 
it does get lost and you need to sneak the replacement in there right away they'll never notice just get identical ones and it has happened to us in the past so this is actually the second version of this sally doll i don't ever like to bring anything sentimental on the go with us because i'm just scared that it's gonna get lost now i'm gonna have a very very sad emotional kid and that's just not something i want to traumatize them with so i definitely like getting things i can replace very easily and very quickly and this just happens to be a very cute one at the dollar tree and they have many different little stuffies you can get just like this as you can see this one's very thin very compact she can squeeze in basically anywhere next is a snack box and again we are using these to this day kids at this age just absolutely having the independence to choose their own snacks especially if you fill it with things that are visually appealing and just things that you usually wouldn't give them it kind of holds their interest a little bit longer and i just swear snacks all together is just a lifesaver they're just very handy to have on the go next is just a small notebook and these are perfect for children to just doodle in it just allowed for so much creativity and it also seconds as a sticker book they absolutely love stickers they don't even care what's on it they just love placing them so i absolutely love this idea and it definitely keeps my daughter engaged and that brings me on to my next must-have item it's a sticker book so you just want to have a good variety of stickers because they will go through them like crazy definitely suggest getting you a dollar tree sticker book this one has 250 pieces it requires very little supervision and essentially there's no cleanups for me afterwards so i am definitely a pro sticker book and what you can do is because little toddlers don't have the best fine motor skills yet and it's very difficult for them to peel off the stickers you can go ahead and take the back off you can see i did it with this bottom half you can just take the back off and then it'll make it so much easier for them. For so long, I found myself having to peel these for her. And at that point, it kind of defeated the purpose of her having this item in her busy bag. Because if I'm helping her, then we're both keeping busy instead of her just keeping herself busy. Having this peeled ahead of time is actually a lifesaver that one of my viewers actually recommended. So thank you for commenting that suggestion in my original busy bag video. I really appreciate it. It made a huge difference. And then moving on to another thing that goes perfectly with these notebooks are jumbo crayons. So these are absolutely perfect for little hands that are very destructive. They like to squeeze crayons. So these are much more durable and also when they drop them, these are easier to find on the ground. Next is a trinket box and it's exactly what the name is. This was my daughter's absolute favorite. So basically it's just a box that I filled up with a bunch of different random things. It felt like a treasure box to her. She enjoyed pulling every single thing out one by one and then putting them back in it was just the thrill of having a little box filled with so many interesting things so first up is going to be this light up ball it hasn't been activated yet in my original box i actually had a little mini pink flashlight it was very very dim so it wasn't damaging to her little toddler eyes but this is something i just found in the toy section at dollar tree so you activate it by throwing it in the ground and it claims to glow for several hours so i think that is perfect especially for night car rides or plane rides it's going to be something that's very minimal in lighting so you're not bothering other people i just remember her turning the flashlight on and off and it being the most amazing thing for her to be able to control light next things in the box are going to be these finger puppets i absolutely love these for character play as well as promoting communication she just loved having them talk to each other. She also loved entertaining her little brother with finger toy puppets, so it was a win-win situation for me. Next is going to be a brush. My daughter really loved mimicking everything I was doing, so the brush was just the perfect little accessory for her. I had a much smaller and compact one in my original box, so if you could find something a third of this size, that's even better. Next is going to be a toy lipstick. Again, my daughter loved imitating me, so I had to get something similar for her so she would not be using my real lipstick and she would just sit there and pretend she's putting on makeup whenever I was touching up my lip gloss or my own lipstick. So this definitely came in very handy. Next is a mirror. Kids at that age just absolutely love looking at themselves. I guess they're learning what their facial expressions and what their faces look like, so it's very fun for them. And it's also a great learning tool. You can start showing and teaching them parts of the face. This is actually my mirror. I would definitely suggest getting one with like the childproof type of um, coating on it i'm not sure i just know that they have those little play mirrors for children so i would suggest getting that versus 
a real mirror like this one. Next are bracelets. My daughter absolutely loved to play dress up. Taking these on and off over and over and over would just keep her so entertained. It was so funny. She had a little tray on her stroller as well as her car seat. So she just loves stacking this right on top. Perfect for fine motor skills. Next are going to be these 3D learning toys. And I absolutely love these because not only can they help with teaching colors, they also stack vertically and hook together horizontally. So many different uses for these. They are perfect for practicing and refining those fine motor skills. And the best part yet is I actually found these at the Dollar Tree, so definitely very, very affordable. Last item in this trinket box are going to be these foam shapes that I actually cut out myself. You can either use felt paper or foam paper for these. Very easy and quick project to do. Again, very affordable. You can get felt paper and foam paper for as little as 50 cents per sheet and I love that I can teach her colors as well as shapes. And also they're very infant proof in case her little brother gets a hold of them and squeezes them with all his grip they'll come right back into their original shape. That is everything inside this trinket box. As you can see, it is nice and filled with so many fun treasures. And you can also pick up the same exact box at the Dollar Tree. They have so many different options. Next up is a play food set. You can basically pick these up anywhere. She just loved pretend play. She would mimic me in the kitchen. Got a pan, got your two food items in here, spatula, and basically good to go. We have lost countless play food items during our travels and I just love that they're very easy to replace. So the next few items I added specifically to promote cognitive development, things like flashcards, color matching activities, books, things of that nature. So first up, I just have this mini book. She cannot read yet, but this is just perfect for her to look through and see her favorite characters. Great introduction to reading. This is from the Target dollar spot. Next are alphabet flashcards. Not only are these perfect for introductory to learning letters and seeing how those letters look, but it's also a great way to begin learning the names of everyday objects. Kids absolutely love learning new things, especially via pictures. So if you guys have not introduced flashcards yet, it is a perfect opportunity to do so. You will be surprised at how entertained little children are with these. Next is this little wooden stacking color toy. Not only is this perfect for sorting and matching colors, but it's also perfect for fine motor skills. She would be so hyper-focused on putting these little mini donuts, as she called them back then, onto these little wooden dowels. Can you guys even believe that I picked this up from a Daiso for one dollar? Isn't that crazy? Such a great learning tool. Last but not least, I've got some pom-pom balls. This is a great tool for learning colors as well as color sorting and color grouping. However, my daughter's absolute favorite thing to do with this is take the pom-pom balls and put it in this little hole on the top one by one and that would just keep her entertained for a surprisingly long time. And if you guys are OG moms out there, you can recognize this little container as a travel formula dispenser. So being able to successfully put these little pom-pom balls and this little hole on the top definitely promotes fine motor skills. So I definitely love this activity as well. It's a very easy and fun thing you can put together. So that is everything in my daughter's busy bag. As you can see, everything fit nicely in her little backpack. And my preferred method for her was just a backpack so she could keep all her stuff on her person so she can pull things out as she wanted. And it's just less items for me to stuff into a diaper bag so that she could be responsible for her own bag. And she loved having that responsibility. She loved grabbing her bag as we were walking out the door because she knew that this was her backpack full of fun stuff. I do have a few more tips and tricks for you guys just so you can make the most use out of your busy bags. The first thing is to make sure that these busy bags are always packed and ready to go and that they're near your diaper bags and near the door for older children just so that you can always see them. They're always in sight and you can easily grab them because the last thing you want is to leave these busy bags behind especially once your children starts getting accustomed to them and know Knowing that they're going to have some kind of fun thing to do while you guys are out and about. Again, for my younger one, you saw me store it in a little pouch so that it could always be in his diaper bag. There's no need for me to take it out and it's always in there so it'll never be forgotten. And that brings me on to my next tip. If you are able to, I would definitely keep these busy bags for only on the go because if your kids were to play with these same toys on a daily basis, these busy bags and the contents will not have the same effect of 
simulation and element of surprise and element of newness as if they were to just only have them for on the go. I swear every time my daughter would look on her backpack even though we would use it basically every other day because we were always on the go, it would feel like it was something new and different to her each time so it always kept her interest. And these bags not having that same wow factor will basically defeat the purpose of having the busy bag anyway so you kind of just want to try to keep it separate as an on-the-go type toy if you can. Last but not least, you want to go ahead and make sure you kind of go around your house and see if there's anything you can use already versus going out and buying a bunch of new different things. And again, check out your local Dollar Tree and Target Bullseye Playground or even craft stores. They have sometimes great learning tools there as well. And again, I will try to list a majority of these things in my Amazon store. That'll be in a busy bag section all on its own. And I'll also have links in my description box below. So make sure to check that out. Let me know in the comments down below what your favorite busy bag items are. Or if you have any recommendations for other viewers out there. If you guys found this video helpful, make sure to hit the like button down below. And also subscribe if you want more content like this. As always, thank you guys so, so much for watching. And I'll see you in my next video.